Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I will show you how you can replace your own LCD for this Nikon model camera, D3300. So let's get started. Now, what happened with my camera? Now I'm supposed to actually remove the lens and uh, cover it with a cap, but I do not have a cap, so I can't do it. Now what happened with my LCD? It has this symptoms, weird thing. I think the LCD has actually degraded over the years, so it's about time to get a new screen. So let's get started. Now first thing first, remove the battery. Now I have a baking paper here, so that it has a smooth surface and it does not, it does not scratch my LCD screen. And since I have a lens, standard lens, so I'm going to hold it like this, and I'm going to use my finger, place it down there so that I know I can feel the compression. I do not want to spoil the camera in the process of changing the LCD screen. Now this is actually a, a plastic sponge used to remove the rubber over here. And then I found that the, I think one of the screws started to rust. Uh, the same goes with the front, the grip, rubber grip here. So use only plastic sponge to remove it, otherwise it will end up scratching the plastic surface of the body. Right? So try to peel it off from the body, it's quite tight. Probably I will need to replace the uh, double-sided tape and uh, if it does not stick anymore. But this kind of double-sided tape can re be reused for at least two to three times. Okay, so I've done moving it. Um, so by inspection, and these are the screws that are going to be removed. The reason why I'm making a video is actually to remind myself so that I remember which screw going to which hole. And I'm using this uh, WD-40 oil to actually remove the rust on here. Okay, so at the same time, it helps me to remove the residue from the glue. Yeah, so it's rusted, right? So I'm using this uh, Vera screwdriver, PH00 size. PH means Philip screwdriver, 00 size. Yeah, the, the design is so ergonomic that it's easily and so precise in such a way that it helps me to remove the screw. Now, this is, this is not an advertisement, okay? It's just I, I endorse this product called Vera for screwdriver in uh, helping me to remove the tiny screw used by Nikon, right? So you see, it's so easy and uh, without any effort, right? I can just remove the screw and I'm quite confident that it will not spoil my screw. There you go. So this is a short one. As I mentioned earlier, the main purpose, the reason I'm making this video is to remind myself so that I know which screw goes into which hole, okay? Now, I've used a sharp object. Now, there's actually a notch there for me to remove this label. So, remove it, okay? Probably I will need a new double the tape there. And then uh, the screw head here is short and it has black color, right? So I do not want to mix up those screws. So that's the reason why I'm making this video to remind myself. Uh, I hope you'll find it useful. And uh, if this is the first time watching a video, remember subscribe to my free channel. It is free. And remember to press the bell button so that you will be notified when I upload new video. Now here, this is another screw that I'll show you. Now the, the, the screw over here is slightly different than from earlier. That's the reason why I need to make a video so that I can refer to here later when I need to open up more camera. See? Now another one here is also different. They have different sizes. Um, in general, they will have long, medium, short. But the color is different. Some of them is stainless steel. The other color, it's actually we have some dark color surface, right? So it's important that you separate your screw so that you know which one goes into where, okay? And the magnetic tip, it's just strong enough to hold the screw. I think I like this screwdriver by Vera. You see, it doesn't come soft. So that I can refer to this video, I will know how long is the screw and go into that hole. And then the grip on the left, I mean, I mean near the, the surrounding on the left, there are two of them. And then the interior of it, they will have one, two, and then down here three. Now this one is slightly longer. And yeah, 
this Vera screwdriver, I find it really, really useful that this is slightly longer and uh, it's stainless steel, silver color, okay? And then this one is a bit short, the normal one. And then I think not short, I think this is a medium one, medium size. And there's another one up here, tiny little one. And this is the, I think medium one, consider medium size. There you go, right? Then uh, you just need to pry open. Now I find that it's quite difficult to remove the cover from here because the USB socket here actually prevent the cover coming out. So the lower left hand edge you need to pry open and be careful there's a flexible cable. Now you see here it comes off here right so you have some effort right. So lower left hand corner you need to pry open using the plastic uh, spudger. Again you use the spudger to remove this flexible cable. There you go. There you go. This is how it looks like. Main body. Again, the same PH00 Vera screwdriver. This is not an advertisement. Just want to show you I enjoy using this screwdriver. Now, and then all I need to do is remove this bracket. But, but just before that, remember to remove this flex cable for the LCD screen. There you go. Just flip it out by 90 degree. And then remove the flexible cable. The same goes with the uh, uh, black lighting. Just pull it out using a glove. There you go. Then only you remove the bracket for your button. Now these are actually button to support the button. So when you press on the button, you can feel the tactile feel. Then um, actually use some uh, optical lens tissue is optional for me to clean the uh, glass interior glass surface because this time I just remove the old uh, LCD screen, right? And then I remember to remove the. Uh, the protective film on the new LCD screen, right? And then uh, when you install, it fits only one side. You would don't want to install it the other way around, right? And then uh, fit through the uh, flexible cable and install the. Now make sure you press this uh, flexible cable for button. These are actually buttons, right? Make sure it fits into the own place, fits only one side. And then now carefully using both finger, don't use one finger and push it into the socket and rotate 90 degree and make sure it's parallel, right? The flexible cable is parallel with the socket. Then next will be the backlight. Now backlight is a bit challenging. Yeah, some effort. Make sure you push it into the tiny little gap. Push it in, there you go, right? Easily. Then reverse the process and this is what you get. Now this warning sign, mainly because of the battery is weak, the current drawn by the new LCD screen is higher, so therefore the camera just doesn't want to be power up. I hope this video helped clarify. That's all from me. Thank you.